All right, teachers love mouse traps because they're a great lesson in potential and kinetic energy. So potential is energy that could happen. Yeah. Uh, and then kinetic energy is moving energy. Okay. So if we set this mouse trap. Yeah. And oh, there we go. And I'm going to put a ping pong ball on it. Carefully. Because mice we, love ping pong balls. Well, it's a good demonstration. So when this flips, it'll take all that energy it's storing and release it. Yeah. So I've I'm going to drop this on there, and then we're going to. Uh, See if we can get that ping pong ball to fly. Okay. All right, so here we go. Ready and there we go. That's yeah. a good 30 feet. Okay. That so... was a crappy trick, by the way. I mean, that's, that's nothing like the foam or any. We should have started with that, probably. <laughs> well, we got the idea of that's that's a lot of energy in one mouse trap. Yeah. But what if we picked it up just a little bit and tried it with a uh, couple of 10 hundred... million mm -hmm. mouse traps? Well, we'll start with over 900. That's beautiful. There it is. You have an amazing prop department here. Yeah, boy, uh, they must hate you right now. <laughs> All That's right. That's incredible. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, trip this by just throwing uh, some ping pong balls in. We'll okay. see how many it takes to actually start it, and then we'll see if it can release uh, energy. Should we throw them all at once or throw them individually? Let's start with one and go from there. Okay. All right. So it's also actually a, a model for Newton's third law. It's a model for how fission works. It's a really <laughs> a great. Okay, nothing happened. No, no. Yeah. You got a lob. Oh, you got a lob. Okay, all right. Go ahead. Let me lob. Oh! Oh! Science Bob's website too. Thank you, Science Bob. We'll be right back.